Hey, what's going on everyone? Edwin Pagan here, and on this tutorial, we're going to be showcasing how to bypass paid Wi-Fi hotspots utilizing your Kali Net Hunter device. Now, full disclaimer guys, this is for educational and learning purposes only, and I always advise you guys to be ethical, but in, in essence guys, what we're doing here and the method we're using is basically changing our MAC address on our Kali Net Hunter device. Now, this can be used for bypassing paid Wi-Fi hotspots, but it can also be used for bypassing other security protocols that might be in place if you're doing a pen test. A lot of times, sysadmins might have like MAC address filtering in place. Now you can actually clone your MAC address or uh, change the MAC address on your device uh, utilizing some of the tools within Kali Net Hunter, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, so first and foremost, one of the first things we want to get prior to starting is we want to make sure we have the appropriate wireless card. Now, I'm utilizing the TP-Link TL-WN722N wireless N150 high gain USB adapter. Man, that is long. Anyways, that is available on Amazon.com for about $13.44, who's better than you, with free one-day shipping. Man, they should be paying me for this. <laughs> But that being said, this device works really, really well with the Kali Net Hunter device. Now, an additional thing I bought with mine as well was I bought one of these little, uh, what we like to call an OTG cable. And what it lets us do is actually, uh, since this device or the wireless card itself is uh, what we like to call USB, uh, this actually allows you to hook up USB devices to your uh, to your device. And this one specifically allows me to give power to my device while I had the wireless card plugged in which allows for better performance a lot of the times and I kinda went a little overboard because I ordered this one on Amazon same day I had to have like a $35 order so I ended up buying this here as well and what this is it's a little more fancier but what it is it's kind of like a, a, a docking station almost for your device does the same thing as the OTG cable but it has more ports on there and it lets you actually power the device as well so I'm actually using that one right now and I have my wireless card hooked up to it as well so once we have that all out the way uh, let's kinda take a look at what we're actually doing so in essence in if you haven't seen a paid Wi-Fi hotspot login it, they basically all look the same right so we're looking at the holiday and one here and in essence what it's telling you to do is if you're paying for it they're gonna give you a code you put it in right and let's see if this actually gives us a better picture. Uh, well, no, that's one. That's one right there. Anyways, so basically, what does happen is once you pay for your uh, your service, what it does is it records the MAC address of your wireless card, right? And MAC address being it's the media access control address. Every you know uh, every radio or uh, network card on your computer or mobile device has a MAC address. And what happens is when you connect to that Wi-Fi hotspot, in essence, it says, okay, this MAC address is good to go for the following two hours, three hours, or et cetera. So if that's the only method of authentication it's using, which is the MAC address, all we have to do is get the MAC address of a client that's connected that has paid already. So that being said, that's where we use our Kali NetHunter device to find the devices that are connecting to that wireless network and have paid for it. All right, so we're in our Kali Net Hunter device now. And the first and foremost, what we want to do is we want to make sure that our wireless card is responding and working properly. Now, the best way I found to do this, simply put, we're going to go to Net Hunter, and then from here, we're going to go to Custom Commands, and we're going to launch Wi-Fi, and we're going to see if it's seeing our USB adapter. And as you can see, it's seeing it on mine. It's seeing it as WLAN zero. So. That's a good sign that means that it's seeing it, it's online. So that being said, what we want to do is we want to put this card in what we like to call monitor mode. So we're going to go to, to NetHunter Terminal and we're going to, actually let's close this out right quick or we can hit plus sign, boom. And we're going to select Kali for the shell. And then simply put, we want to put that device in monitor mode. So we click AirMon. Let's type in real quick. Airmon dash ng start and on WLAN zero, hit enter. And now we'll see that it is in monitor mode and it has a new name for it now. It's going to be, you can see right here, it's WLAN zero. 
MON. So that basically means that it's uh, this WLAN, uh, WLAN zero card is in monitor mode. So that being said, what we want to do now is kind of do a kind of an assessment of the wireless traffic uh, within range. So what we're going to do is we're going to click or we're going to type in aero dump dash ng. And of course, it's the monitor card. So it's WLAN zero dot MON. Boom. Now at this point, and this is one of the reasons why I really love the Cali 900 device for some of the features that it has, but right now what we're seeing is all the wireless networks that we have available uh, in range. So we see the MAC address of the, of the actual router itself, we see the channel, uh, the type of encryption that they're using, Cypher, etc. Now I've set up an actual wireless network, I've named it Nickelback Paid Wi-Fi. But that being said, that's going to be the network that we're going to monitor to see what uh, clients are connecting to it and actually grab the MAC addresses. So let's go ahead and hit Control C. And as you can see right here, we have our actual wireless network, which is the Nickelback one. Oh, it just closed it out. What are you doing? Let's go back to that. So we can see our Nickelback wireless network right there. And what we want to do now is we actually want to go ahead and focus in on that actual wireless network. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to make sure that we're copying down that MAC address and the channel that it's running. And then we're going to go ahead and open up a new shell. And then what we want to do is we want to focus in on that. So we're going to run in, we're going to run the following command, arrow dump dash ng and then the base the BSS ID, which is going to be I copied it down on my end as well. So for my example, we're using BSS ID 00. One C, C two, twenty, D A, six C, and then we want to specify the channel as well. So it's channel four, and we want to spe uh, specify the interface. So it's WLAN zero dash M O N. Let's see if the demo gods are working for us today. Boom. So basically what we're doing now, guys, is that we're actually seeing, we're monitoring the actual wireless access points. So now what we want to look for is clients that are connecting to that wireless access point and actually staying connected. See, the thing is, a lot of wireless or at least paid Wi-Fi hotspots, a lot of times they'll disconnect you after you stay on there unauthenticated for a certain period of time. So what we want to do is we want to look for clients. So... I'm going to pretend we have a paid Wi-Fi client connecting to it. So right now when I connect to it, you'll see that one of the clients is going to pop up. Boom. See? And so this is one of the uh, stations that actually has connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot. So what we want to do is actually copy down that information. So we're going to go ahead and copy that down. And now once we've actually achieved the, cap actually, uh, achieved the goal of actually capturing the MAC address, we want to use a little application that Cali Diner has. So simply put, we go back to this now hunter screen and we're going to run the Mac changer. Now we can actually change the host name, etc. but we're specifying the wireless interface that we want to change the Mac address of. So let's go ahead and do the WLAN zero or WLAN one, which is another one I have connected. And we want to do a custom Mac. And then right here, we're going to insert the value. So simply put, we're going to put the 80 tab 1934B2 dash 20 dash EB. And once we do that, all we do is go up top and we reset it. And set custom MAC and now you can see that this is the MAC address that our current wireless card has and all we would have to do now is connect to that wireless network so if we go up to our wireless network so let's go ahead and go back up we'll see that Nickelback rocks paid Wi-Fi now, when we connect to the paid Wi-Fi hotspot, it's going to recognize the MAC address we have as the MAC address of a paid client. Now, a lot of times when you're trying to achieve this, especially if it's an actual pen test, 
when you're trying to achieve this, you have to actually have to try different MAC addresses because a lot of times you might have users who are connecting to it and fit and realizing, hey, you know what? I don't want to pay for this Wi-Fi. So they're actually just, you know, staying connected. So you're going to see a lot more clients popping up, especially if you're doing this in an actual live environment, which we shouldn't be doing unless we have uh, specific permission from the owners of the hotspot itself. But what I'm saying is that uh, it does take, it is a game of trial and error. But as you can see, this is a pretty simple uh, little trick you can do with your Kali Net Hunter device. Now, guys, if you like these videos, please feel free, feel free to like the video. Leave your comments below if you're having any errors with it. I especially appreciate the the comments that I've been getting guys uh, especially when you guys are saying a lot of the stuff is working for you so I, I, I greatly greatly appreciate those comments and just leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for other videos you'd like to see and uh, and hopefully we can compile those for you guys so that being said guys hope you guys enjoy the video until next time take care be ethical peace